Alright, we are here. Just quick save, and that's. There's a tail end of the get drop ship you just heard, I think. We'll enter this way because they aim at the nose. So it will make it slightly easier than it otherwise might be. Got rocket troopers and snipers to deal with here. As well as a uh, Geth armature or colossus or something at the corner here. It's just uh, take out the rocket troopers first, I think, because they're going to be the ones who are going to whittle us down. Or maybe not. Yeah, this could take a while. Uh, I managed to inadvertently drive up a ramp. Hmm. Just gotta figure out the best positioning. We did manage to take out the whatever was jamming our radar though, which is kind of nice in a strange way. It's not really help, but it's nice to have a clear radar all the same. Oh, quick save. It's this. It'll be a long, drawn out fight. Okay, find a kind of sweet spot there. Right, we've taken those out. <laughs> you saw I just tried to snipe it, but that didn't quite work. Annoying. Snipe over here. Bye bye. And as soon as we've taken down these guys, as soon as we've taken down these guys, come on, just die, please. Okay, um, hmm. Not sure exactly what's blocking our. By the site there. I got them. Got that centered. Ah, there he is. Okay, knocked him down. Ah, there's one up there. He's gone. Oh, quick save. I'm going to try and draw a fire from whatever is remaining. Yeah. Okay, now we come to get Prime, so let's just hightail it through this valley and uh, get a chance to save before we confront them. See, radar's jammed. Radar jamming, um, I think it's caused by the snipers, poppers, primes, or um, I think those are the, the only types of geth that can jam you. Anything else is fine. But yeah, snipers, hoppers, um, or primes. I'm going to take out this crowd first. The good thing about primes is they get knocked down. Unlike Colossi, they're more pleasant fight. But they do boost the abilities of the Geth around them. That's something to bear in mind. Oh, level up. And knock you down. Right. You back. Wee! <laughs> okay, um, I'm just gonna whistle you down to. We're Whoa. taking damage! Got a bit overconfident there, I did. Oh, why am I driving up the side of it? Um, going to repair. Then I'm going to quick save just to recharge shields. Um, because it's annoying to wait. 
Okay, I'm going to quick say to recharge shields. Um, once I'm out of the arbitrary enemy present zone. Okay. Might drive a long way away to get out of its zone of control. Okay, yeah, all clear. Thanks for the arbitrary clarification tally. We can just quick save there, so let's just load that quick save. I want to try and snipe this one. There's only one Geth Prime you have to fight on foot, uh, depending on a certain decision you make. But th these ones are optional in terms of whether you take them on foot or if they, um, if, you, if you take them on in the Mako. I, prefer, I just prefer fighting in the Mako because uh, I'm always scared of getting the enemy getting a lucky shot in and kind of ruining my progress. Engaging target. Okay, knock back. Knock back again. Okay, I'll wait for you to recharge and. Okay. Close enough. Okay, where are you? Okay, so just crouch and continue sniper. Yes. Ah, oh, there's one enemy left. That's number two. Let's hit the next base. Is there anything to loot around here? Don't think so. No. Right, that's another base down. Yeah, what I do appreciate what they've done here is that each base is different. It isn't just go into um, an identical bunker and clear out enemies, which they could have easily done, and they did for most of the side quests in the game. Now we go to Hong. Let's see what's here. Polo, uh, Tria Gear. Not sure what these are named after. Feshaka. And this might uh, Kasbin. Okay, yeah, this is. I remember this one. Matriarch's writings. Those are another collectible. It's not like you get any kind of new codex entries on this stuff. I mean, you get outlining what it is, but um, you don't get anything saying exactly what it is. Let's take Ashley this time. I'm going to do that because there is room for a bit of sniping in this one without much fear of retaliation. So, what's someone who's sniper capable? It's been a while since we've had her on board, so I think I do want to check the. Uh, yeah. Have we got any? Yeah, that's kind of a bad situation when the heavy armor is worse than the light one. I mean, it's it's three levels higher, but still, we haven't found any heavy armor that can outdo what we had there. Um, right. I mean, oh, oh, yes, very nice. Polaris Casa fabrication. And can we give you a better... Ugh, there's a horrible sniper. Um, let's see, can we give you a better assault rifle at least? Yeah. Or match your... The, uh, yeah, the Raptor I think is better. Increases damage at the expense of not so many rounds able to be fired. Let's take, uh, yeah, Polonium. And, yeah, we've got a chance to upgrade here. Just so you know, I think at level 36 we get one point a level. So, yeah, you get to build up Shepard more than the other characters. To that end, uh, we could take advanced warp. I'm just thinking what would be most useful in the coming. I think, yeah, let's work towards advanced warp. Also, take a point barrier because 
it will be useful when facing off against uh, a load of assault drones. As for Ashley, let's give her the ability to equip heavy armor. But yeah, that was medium armor, it turns out. Some first aid. Let's get master immunity. It's insanely useful. Um, how long does it last now? Duration 20 seconds, wow. Uh, front shield boost. And continue improving her sniper ability. Yeah. That's for Tally. Uh, ah, this lowers recharge times as well as acting on its own, which will be useful in the hectic drone assaults we'll face on the moon. No, don't want to return to Normandy, just wants the map. Right. Got Anomalous Signal, Gef Outpost. Yep. And there's some Gef over here. That's the Anomalous Signal. And it's basically a fire against three armatures and uh, some turrets and stuff. So nothing you haven't seen before. Just a bit more tedious. We do have at least the meteor showers or whatever these are to brighten the day. You join me now from the bottom of a pit. Uh, <laughs> I had to cut this out, but I just want to show you exactly the kind of wackiness can ensue at the maker. Uh, yeah, who designed this, honestly? It's pointing straight down on all sides, and it's in the middle of our path. But I'm not sure what the point of it is, but it's not as bad as a certain planet, which we will come to later. Anyway, uh, we'll cut to a bunch of dead armatures, hopefully. Right. Quite a long range battle there. I mean, three of them at once isn't nice to face. Although, did take one out back here. <laughs> it's like a little dog, really. Geff are adorable in their own way. In route. Uh, I guess we can't really do anything with this stuff. This whole expedition was just for the experience points. Nope, uh, no effect. Right, to the gift dropship. Not directly there though, we're going to take, um, what do you call it? We're going to take position on um, a ridge nearby, because this is where the sniper rifle thing comes in. Offers many opportunities for sniping, and I'm going to take advantage of that. You see, what happens is, ooh, yeah, and boost, yep, came out of that one without any injury. What happens is this Geth dropship drops off shock troopers, and at that kind of range that you fight them at, they can't really do much to you, but you can do a lot to them with your sniper rifle. And they'll keep dropping them for a while until eventually, I think it just leaves of its own accord, uh, after about 20 of them. So I'm going to take advantage of that to get some experience points. It's just uh, nice to be able to have an opportunity actually to use sniper rifles at the proper ranges as well. Because too often in the game you're fighting at almost point blank. So yeah, we're heading over the right bridge. And yeah, we're jammed now. So that means we are very near. Straight ahead. Yeah, I think this hill over here will offer a good vantage point. Yeah, the Mako can head in the right direction. Now we quick save. And Redeploying. So take out sniper. Ashley, you take out your sniper rifle. For what good it's worth. I mean, it's, it's it's what you're using at the start of the game. It's not exactly a wonderful instrument of destruction, but we'll take what we can get. Ours, on the other hand, is as uh, has amp been amply demonstrated. I think. Yeah, we're gonna peer over this ridge in a second. Or are we? Uh, kind of screw this up. Oh well. Let's 
so let's see if we can't snipe some geth. Actually, it's not the geth. It's not the, the dropship dropship part yet. It's the uh, rocket troopers and snipers part. <laughs> so uh, I don't want to go down there without the Mako yet because it would kind of suck having a load of snipers and rocket troopers take pot shots at us, or more than pot shots in the sniper's case. They could kill us in one hit. Yeah. I think I'm going to take them out, then we'll... Then we'll get out on foot and fight the shock troopers the same way as from the dropship. So, let's get a good angle. Yeah. <laughs> right. Let's let this one sail over. Just thinking, uh, yeah, we can climb back up this way, I think. Oh, minerals. We'll take a peek at them afterwards, I think. Yeah. Unless there's some kind of barrier separating us. Yeah. Barrier rocks. So we can quite safely get out without fear of being sniped. And survey away. Screw the gap, we are we're investing in mineral futures. Uh, well actually it is a legitimate business. We're marking it for the Alliance to find one maker. This way, come on. You can do it. There we go. Poisoned from our assassination round, I think. <laughs> we did actually do some proper damage to him. Makes a chink. The sniper rifle by the end of the game should be pretty much a one hit kill, the way I'm going to design it. You can go two ways with it. You can either try and make it be able to fire relatively rapidly, like three shots before the heat, I think, is kind of the maximum you can get out of it. Or you can go with, you know, one shot to overheat, but make it as good a shot as possible. And that's what I'm going to try and do. Because it's a good fight opener, and good for, you know, take a shot, go back into cover, and then take a shot again. 